Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and now the news in details. Igbo patent medicine dealers in Kano State have come together under the hedges of Igbo patent medicine dealers association, Kano State branch to donate food items to Kano State government to caution the effect of hardship on the less privileged in their host community. As a result of the present stay at home order, the association donated food and other household items worth 5 million naira to the Kano State Tax Force on COVID 19, which are to be shared among the less privileged ones due to the present total lockdown in Kano State. Their little talking in Kano State is a manifestation of one Nigeria, not minding the tribes or religions. They still gave out what they have to support their Muslim brothers during the time of need, mostly now that there is lockdown. During the handing ceremony, the leader of the association told the chairman of the tax force on COVID-19 in Kano State, Professor Muhammadu Yahuza Belo in Kano, that a donation is their own contribution to the palliatives being put in place by the, Senate by the state government to caution the effect of the hardship on the less privileged ones in the society as a result of the restriction of movement. Receiving the items on behalf of the state government, the chairman said the commodity will be channeled to those whom they have meant for. He thanked the Igbo Patent Medicine Dealer Association for being their brother's keeper at this challenging time and not leaving the burden on the government alone. Household items donated include income, hand sanitizers, antiseptic soap, rice, and macaroni. What the Hebrews did for Kano state government is a truly manifestation that Nigerians are one. Others should learn from the Hebrews. With this little heart, Nigeria will be a better place, not minding the religion, tribe, or culture. A true manifestation indeed. Wow, this is definitely a true manifestation, you know. The Hebrews actually joined Hanks together with the with the Northerners and they actually made some very huge um, contribution. This is what we need in our country. We want unity, we want everyone to be in one accord, you know, and that, that is the best thing so far. And Nigerians are saying that I have always stand on my behalf that it is the politicians who have divided us as one family as a nation because of their selfish desires. Go to Alaba Rago Market in, Lag in Lagos and see the brotherly love that exists between people of different ethnic cultures. But once election is approaching, politicians start their evil agenda. Exactly. Our greatest problem in our country so far they are the politicians that we have in nigeria they are the people that are causing division among us i'm telling you the truth because when you look at it by the time we have election period like this the whole thing people that the, the uh, tribes Igbos that are already friends with yoruba they would they would just turn their back against themselves and politics politics is not supposed to be like that at least we all see the way they organize, they do politics in other countries. In fact, some, some places you will not know that they have, they are, if there is an election at that point. You won't know. But here we are in Nigeria. It is always a do or die affair. I know that we are still one accord. When you go to some places, you will see that Nigerians, they are one accord. What? Our leaders are causing a huge problem in the country. I'm telling you the truth. And somebody said that um, that has always been the style of the Higbo man. Even if we did divide, we can still do it across Africa if the need arises. There is good thing about the Higbos. That something happened today doesn't mean that they will not be of help to their people. It doesn't mean that they will not be of help to other tribes. And that is one good about them. Even outside, even if they are outside the country, they are always united. And they don't criticize. 
and that's one best quality things about the Higos, in which I would love the Yorubas to have that quality too. But unfortunately, the Yorubas lack those things. They'll make friends with you in front of you, and at your back, they will stab you. And that is exactly what is going on in, our, in, our, in, 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 the, in Nigerian politics right now. Exactly. And uh, people are saying that uh, Igbos are the most kind-hearted tribe in the country because they are Christians. So that is the life of Igbo man. Even in Philippines, there are helping indigents. May God continue to bless and protect them. Amen. May God protect them. It is a sign of unity among ourselves. And I wish our country can actually be like that. I wish even the Northerners can join hands together to work as one accord. All these killings, all these etme will stop. All this thing we are talking about, Boko Haram and all that, it will definitely stop if we can walk in unity. And that is the only way we can move forward. If there is no unity, there is no way we can move forward. I'm telling you. Because it is good to be good. And God rewards kindness. To be, to, to be frank and sincere to ourselves, Igbos, they have been like that. They have been like that. They, are, they have this kind heart. And nothing can change it. Even APC cannot. And the thing is that even if they become Biafrans or remain Nigeria today, all I understand about them is that they are hustlers. All the hustling is just to effect positive change, first for them and also for their neighbors. They are hustlers. They are they always like energetic. They fight for what it belongs to them. And that is what we need in our country. I'm telling you. And the Nigerians are saying that these donations will not reach the poor masses. Why can't you people take the donation to Church Road where Almajiris are begging? And this Keken Napeb driving this no, no, donation is just politi political. I'm not, and they said, I'm not against that. In as much as I am Igbo man, help anyone you can. Save life. This is not about the North or South. It is global. Though the federal government's palliatives are one-sided, but God will see us through. Exactly what I said. Our governments are the one causing problem. They are always one-sidedness. They said they are contributing money, they are helping those that are in need, but we did not see the effective uh, changes that they did. We didn't see anything at all. I wish our country can be like this, can be of good hearts to each other. I wish our country, country can love each other with one accord. And I believe that Nigeria will be better than, than now. If we can do that, but our problem is still our leaders that we have because they are full of corruption. They know the only thing they know is just for themselves and for themselves alone. And may God help us in, the, in this country. May God help us. I'm telling you the truth. And Nigerians are saying that did they tell you they donated because of one Nigeria? They not do not believe in one Nigeria. Why should the Hebrews believe in it? The real enemy of one Nigeria is the not. One Nigeria is a mere safe face phrase by the not, which they can never be committed unto. Muslims are beggars everywhere they are. Igbos are feeding them here in Himo states, also in the village. What a shame. You know, people were just like trying to uh, put one or things together and said that, okay, the Higos are still the upper head in the country. You know, and somebody is saying that, thank you, my fellow Higos, you didn't even mind who would benefit from the div dividend. dividend. You challenge even the present regime and their finance minister who tried to impose that Igbos will, will not partake in the token of the palliatives. 
but have forgotten the donors that the Hebrews billionaires have, have offered towards the eradication of COVID-19 in the country. Thank you, my Igbo people. Great job to Igbo people. They are doing wonders and we really appreciate everything that they are doing. This is just a lesson to all tribes that we need to work hands in hands, most especially in this season that we have, in this coronavirus pandemic season that we have. We need to help each other, our neighbors, our friend, everybody. This is what we need. So guys, what do you think? Your comment is highly appreciated and kindly drop your comment at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, I want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. If you're yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will be the first person to listen to our latest news. Thank you so much and always have a blessed day and stay safe.